Hi guys, so welcome to my channel. So today I want to talk about a trending topic on Facebook and there has been a lot of arguments from both sides. So let me give you the story before we continue. So this story is about a man that wanted to introduce his fiance to his parents. So he told the girl that his parents don't like a lady wearing trousers. And this lady said that she was not willing to compromise, that she wants to be herself around his parents. And on the day they were to meet the parents, the lady wore trousers. And on going there, the parents you know, did not like the girl. And the guy called off their relationship. And story has it that the girl started begging. So that is just the summary of the story. And there has been a lot of arguments from both sides. And to be sincere, each side they have a point, you know. I don't want to, you know, take sides. I just want to be neutral on this case. Um, because seeing things from one point of view, another person standing on the opposite side might see it from another point of view. And when both of them come out, you know, to make their points, you could see that both points are valid, okay? It's just like someone seeing six from one angle, and then the opposite person is seeing nine, you know? They are both correct. This one is seeing nine, and you, you're seeing six, so it's just like that. Anyway, I want to, you know, bring out the points in this uh, topic so that we could, you know, learn. And I also want to, you know, know your views. What do you think about it? So just put your views on the comment section. So let's you know see how we can handle this issue if it comes to us, okay? So for one, I want to say that I don't believe their relationship is healthy because in relationships there must be compromise. You shouldn't even get to this point that we have to be debating about their situation on social media. You know, it's something that is a very simple thing. Whether you like it or not, when you're in a relationship. You must compromise because these are two people coming together, two people from different backgrounds, different upbringings, different experiences in life coming together. So it's very possible that one person might not like what the other person likes, you know, and there must be a middle ground for relationship to work. So it's not something that we should be debating. If I was in the position of a lady, being that it's not an everyday thing. Obviously, the man likes her the way, he, the way she is. If not, he wouldn't go for her. So, um, he, just, he just tried to create, you know, he just wanted the parent to see her in a different, in a, you know, in the way they would like to see. Let me put it that way. He just wanted her to, you know, to be welcome. And he knew what it would take for, you know, the parents to, you know, welcome her that way. So, I don't, to me, I just feel that the girl, you know, she overreacted. She, she should have just compromised, you know. I'm not, I'm not trying to take sides, but I'm just saying that it shouldn't have even gotten to this um, point. For two, when you go to Rome, behave like a Roman, okay? There are some places that require a way, you know, a particular way to, uh, for you to dress. You, 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 you can't avoid it. You have to dress it up. Can you go to the north and wear bomb shorts, you know? Like where I work, I'm not allowed to wear skirts. I must be on trousers. So I can't just go there and say I want to be myself. I want to nobody will tell me what to do and I'll start wearing skirts. You know, I will look stupid. So look at even politicians, look at you know um, um people in high places trying to visit a religious person. Go and see how they dress. Or going to visit an emir in the north. You will see maybe the governor of CBN sitting on the floor. Something he will not do on a normal day, but because he's going to visit a particular person and he knows, probably he's trying to get favor from that person and he knows that if he behaves a certain way or dresses a certain way, you know, he's going to carry the favor he wants. I've seen my governor using Topan when he went to Sokoto to go and visit, I think, the Emir or somebody like that, I don't know. So it's not like it's, a, it's an everyday thing. When you're in Rome, behave like a Roman. This is you're going to your in-laws place for the first time, and you know this is what they like. It's just common sense for you to try to do something that they like. It's not you're not trying to change your personality. You know, it's it's just a once in a while thing. So I don't know. I just think she should have handled it differently. Another thing I want to say is creating first impression matters. There's a saying that there is no second chance for first impression. 
this is a family that you're going to go in probably for the rest of your life you're going to be with this um they're going to be your family for the rest of your life so that first impression matters a lot it didn't take anything is she saying that she doesn't have or she doesn't wear skirts at all it's only trousers that she used to wear i'm not sure there's any woman in this country that doesn't own a skirt so what would you what would you have taken you know for for you to just wear skirts that you already own or if you don't own you can buy you know just for you to create that first impression you know there i remember um, this uh, dj dj saucy he has a big tattoo on one side of his face and i, I saw his traditional um, wedding picture to my greatest surprise was, so that thing was even it was temporary i thought it was permanent the whole thing was gone he washed his face because of that purpose you know so first impression really matters or probably somebody that likes tattoos and rings and all that. Your partner might like you that way, but his parents are from another generation and he's trying to get his parents to like you too. So sometimes you just feel that we can do anything we like and all that. I just, I, it's just trying to you know, create first impression. Let them just like you first. Then you can now come out later so that they can accept you for the way you are. You can't just you know, throw it at them like that knowing very well that they don't like this particular mode of dressing. Another thing I want to say is, is this situation enough for the guy to break off the relationship? Is, 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 it, is it enough for him to call someone that you have known for a long time? So just because she refused to wear trousers, she refused to wear skirt, he just called off relationship, probably a relationship of two, three years. So for you to even get to the point of trying to introduce her to your parents. Isn't it obvious that you saw something in her that would make you want to spend the rest of your life with her? So you want to spoil a relationship that you have convinced enough, you know, to marry marry this lady. You're convinced enough to marry this lady. You want to spoil all that because she refused to wear trousers. You know, I don't think it is enough. It's not enough reason for you to, you know. It just shows that the, the guy doesn't have a mind of his own. He can be easily manipulated even by his parents, you know. If you're, I think maybe the parents were not happy. Maybe the guy would have told the parents, ah, she's not what you think she is. So it's just, I like the way she dresses. I went for her, you know. It's just, it's not what you think, you know. She's a good girl. That's why I like her. Try to convince your parents to see that she's, you know. She's a good person and that's why you want to spend the rest of your life with her. And your parents should be able to trust your judgment. If they made a good, you know, if they did a good, you know, a good job raising you, they should be able to trust your judgment that this person you're bringing, you know, is good enough for you. And, you know, is someone that you want to be with. And they should just believe that he's a good person. So, you breaking off a relationship that. You were convinced enough that you're going to marry the person because she refused to wear skirts. I don't know. I don't think it was the right thing for the guy to do. It just shows that he doesn't have a mind of his own. So in conclusion, it shouldn't have gotten to this level. If one party was willing to compromise, either the girl or the guy. The girl wearing skirts just to please her in-laws or the guy say, Standing his ground to say, well, this is the kind of person I like, so you know, you should get used to it. She should have gotten to this point. So I don't know what you guys think. Do you think the girl was right to wear trousers? Do you think she was right for not being willing to compromise, for trying to set a standard, for trying to, you know, be herself? Or do you think she was wrong? Do you think she should have, you know, just one skirt for the sake of the, the in-laws, the in-laws to be? And do you think the guy was right to break a relationship that you know was leading to marriage because the girl refused to compromise? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Please don't forget to like and click on that subscribe button. So see you next time. Bye.